Listen, Hope, I need more info. But, um... Analyze this chaos matter for me. I've been trying to do just that, but... Oh, yeah, B is to jump. It didn't tell me B was to jump ever. Stupid game. It's just too hard to see. What do you mean? I'm not sure. The sensors know it's... I'm listening to Hope right now. I don't know. I wish they would actually make more, um, like a better, um, comparison to when Hope is talking and Hope and Lightning are talking. It might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. Hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And Snow's inside, or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... I do know he's changed a lot since, like, his previous two games. Don't <gasps> Why can't I just kill them or take their souls or recover them? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? But you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> huh. So this is the end of the demo and this is where it actually begins. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know. They're talking about God as if he's like, Everybody really like knows him like Luminous herself is like somebody sent for God. So I don't know I don't really like to want to discuss it, but like it's kind of weird Talking about the God in the game by the way Not trying to make comparisons to real life It happened long ago in a past that I cannot change I was fighting a war that never ended I thought I was saving the world, and I needed help. So I turned to Sarah, the only family I had. She was my younger sister. This is the second. I sent her to her death. I knew what I did would not be forgiven, but I prayed that someday it could be undone. Dreaming of the day I might bring her back, I fell into a long sleep. It was a sleep as dark as death. The centuries passed, and each one seemed like an eternity until... One day, the light touched me. I knew what it was. It was God himself speaking to me. Mm. All-powerful, all-knowing, ruler of the world and sky above, Bonavelza. The light was his voice, and I felt warmth on my skin as it spoke. He told me what I had to do. I would be his servant, and if I succeeded in doing his bidding, my reward would be a miracle. He said she would live again. My sister, Sarah, and I'd have her back at last. And so I was chosen by God to rescue lost souls and guide them past the end of this world and into the next. I became the savior. Okay, um, I did see a few more comparisons because, like, um, she was sent to a vest for, like, centuries. That's kind of how Jesus was, like, he got buried and then resurrected again, but it was, like, a different concept. Because, like, I don't know, if you... I don't know, it'd be easier if you guys just read the Bible, kind of. Um, but if you haven't, like, 
He was buried for three days, then he rose as his spirit, not his body. Um, and he didn't exactly do any more, like, saving after that. Instead, he just, like, continued to teach about his disciples and make sure they knew and understand, um, the gospel and everything, kind of. <clears throat> and how it was. And, I don't know, I'm not very good at explaining it. Something I think you have to hear. It'll take some explaining, so when you have the time, come and talk to me. I wish they would, like, make it more influential when, like, Leighton is talk- um, Hope is talking, because, like, it's just in that corner, it's so easy to, like, not pay attention stuff, but, um, I think I have to talk to him. <clears throat> Hello, Lightning. Welcome home. Hope, as time. Once, long ago, we fought side by side, bound by a common destiny. He was just a boy then, kicked around by fate, scared and angry. But we became friends, and then he grew up. He was going to be humanity's great leader, the one who'd lead us all to a brighter future. But it didn't work out the way any of us expected. A lot of things changed during my long sleep. When I woke, the hope who I'd seen become a man was a boy again. Yeah, that's kind of weird. He was up here. In lonely command of the Ark. And this was where he told me about God's plans for the two of us and the world. Brunevelza, God of Light, has made a decision. The gates are open and chaos has flooded through, consuming the world and everything in it. Not even God can stop it. And he isn't going to try. Instead, he's going to build a brand new world. But he needs people to live in it. What would be the point of a world without souls? That's where you come in, Light. You're the last piece in the puzzle. You're the savior. It's a simple role. You have to rescue as many people as you can from this world and lead them to the new one. It's an incredible opportunity. You can bring salvation to hundreds, maybe thousands. In return, you'll get your chance to bring Sarah back. A deal, huh? I scratch God's back and he gives me what I want. My sister. He's giving you a chance, no guarantees. I know it isn't right using your sister, but it doesn't matter. Huh? God is using my dead sister as a bargaining chip. Something like that should infuriate me to no end. But for whatever reason, I don't feel angry. Okay. It's like there's a hole where she used to be. I think I know what you mean. I'm the same way. The hair is kind of messing me up if you weren't paying attention. Such a long time ago. I remember it clearly, but the feelings, they're gone. Maybe that's how God wants it. Maybe emotions and his servants just distract us from what we're supposed to do. So he got rid of them for us. Maybe he did. And maybe returning me to childhood was part of his plan too. But we can't expect to understand everything he does. Of course, I had to accept God's deal. What choice did I have? It was my fault that Sarah died. If the only way I could save her was by doing God's will, so be it. With Hope Estime to guide me, I began my holy mission. Liberating the souls of the living from a dying world and ushering them into a new one. The savior, servant of mighty Benevelza himself. Light? Light, what's the matter? What is it? Are you alright? I'm fine, just reminiscing. Five hundred years ago, chaos was unleashed, and our world began to be consumed. Five short centuries. That's what it took to destroy all of creation. That's actually a now pretty long time. Anything left at all. And when the Savior has used all her light, the bells will toll and the world will end. Is that what you told me? Yes. But when that time comes, Brunevelza will finally awaken. And he'll bend his great will to create a new world. Right. And in the meantime, I've got some souls to save. Yes. As many as you can. Remember, every soul you leave behind will be lost for all eternity. <laughs> 